Okay, let's check this out. Uh, I got your Maya scene for this one, so I will check it out tonight, tomorrow for sure. You know, this look is looking already pretty cool. I'll check this out just again. Where's the refresher? Yeah, this is probably what I'll be working on. I'm not super, super convinced about this. It just feels... It's not as drastic as it was before, but I remember this being just a bit too much. Going, Whoa, like something... Not that he heard something loud and he has to sidestep, but it just feels a bit too conscious of a sidestep. It's like this is a very deliberate sidestep there. But it cuts well, arms... My only feeling for this is that, and it's not like you want to do a broom, 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 that type of thing. It just feels very, very straight. And I think you could do more side to side. That gives us a bit more variation in the up and down. And then that way you can hit the hips a bit more. So it doesn't feel like he's just gliding forward. I do like this though, that pose, because it feels slightly... You know, toes in, just not, not as confident. This is a bit stiff as well. Let's watch out for the that arm just kind of glides forward and it has this moment of overextension and then pop back. And then this arm feels like two keys. It's a very, very even timing going forward. But I do like the neck going forward here. Like I, overall, like you, like you're saying, you're looking for like the feel of it. I think the feel is right. I'm just kind of looking at in terms of uh, just the mechanics a bit more, just to see what we can do there. Watch out your intersection, Sarah. I don't know if you want to bring that hand forward where the fingers are more like that potentially. how much room you have or you know maybe maybe the fingers have to rest on like this top thing i'm not quite sure what that looks like there's a lot of room here so maybe not maybe you have enough room to fold over that but yeah i think overall <clears throat> headed definitely in the right direction uh and then you mentioned this one um all right this is on this guy <laughs> Whoa! Not super sure what she's doing here. Let's go with her. Not mainly because this is. I mean, I know the arms are not there, so what? Hold on. So. Given that there are no arms, the, the I mean, the thing that strikes me is that there is no drag overlap, bounciness, or wire rotation, which makes this thing very very stiff there's something that comes into play slowly here but even through there i will probably bring back that chest just a bit more that way you can have a really nice forward momentum on that roll that's cool but then when you get to here it feels like that root goes up and then she sticks and then she goes forward so i'll probably make that more fluid into a full extension for that jump same thing here, you want to at this point bring that root back a bit more so that there can be some compression so it doesn't feel like it's just kind of stiff and not moving, which I know you know all of this, but I'm just mentioning what I'm seeing here. Just like the stiffness of the upper body and the head. Same thing here, this feels a bit too quick in terms of what's going on here. Like there's so much momentum going on that I'm not quite buying it. But again, it will help by bringing the root back then compressing the way you have it but then at this point pushing more for full extension and rolling the head forward so that this can start before this right so the the, the curvature of the body will help drive that forward momentum into this that's all cool by all that the thing about this one was that how high of a drop that is and then she's kind of lower it almost feels like there needs to be another object that she just comes down from and then gets into this. But the main list is the upper body, which I know you know. Yeah, that's kind of it. Alrighty, thank you. All right, 
There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.